These photos circulated on social media in recent days have reignited long-held suspicions that Russia is planting itself more firmly on the ground in Syria. Secretary of State John Kerry was worried enough to call his Russian counterpart. Kerry told him a buildup of Russian troops in Syria would escalate the war. Breaking news of the sour, the Russian Defense Ministry has confirmed that Russian fighter planes have conducted their first airstrikes against ISIL positions in Syria. This is huge news. The first Russian Air Force strikes against Islamic State targets in Syria confirms. Uh, they, the Russian Defense Ministry says that they've carried out airstrikes against Islamic State's communication centers, arms, vehicle, and fuel depots. Now, of course, this comes after a request by the Syrian government, uh, whose army has been fighting for almost five years. If you've been following the Syrian conflict from the very beginning, you have every reason to be baffled right now. First of all, because you have statements like these. Assad needs to go. It is just further evidence that Assad has to go. Assad cannot be a credible partner for us. It is time for him to go. Followed by a statement like this. For years we've been saying, uh, you've been saying Assad should go. Now you're saying yeah, that no, he's going to choose argument, the, the argument, successor? No, we have not been saying it for years. We've said for the last year that he has to transition out over a period of time. And he would not be the only one. Ever since this morning, the airwaves of U.S. media across the country have been filled with genuine surprise and bewilderment, sometimes asking rhetoric questions. And all of this apparently has been a huge surprise to the United States. How extraordinary is it that the president met with Vladimir Putin 48 hours ago and that the U.S. had no notification, had one hour's notification at the embassy in Baghdad level rather than a formal notification from the foreign minister or the president to the president? And what does de-conflict mean? Surprise, surprise. And all that despite it had been almost blatantly obvious for weeks uh, prior to the meeting between Putin and Obama in New York that their talks will be focusing on Syria and on fighting ISIS. Now the headlines are so different from genuine shock and surprise to somewhat false and unverified accusations against Russia. But while many in the U.S. media have still don't know how they would cover the new developments with Russia conducting airstrikes in Syria, some have already made up their minds. Now, there have been claims already, unverified, that the Russian strikes targeted not the ISIS positions, but those of Syrian opposition and even killing children. Now, there's one tweet by an opposition group in Syria suggested that Russia strike uh, killed three children and uh, one volunteer, as well as 33 civilians. The tweet, if we can see it right now, is dated 
September the 30th, 2015. It took us literally five minutes to find the very same picture with a different Syrian group, but it was taken five days ago. Now, this uh, very same group which posted the picture today uh, also claimed that Russian strikes hit the bread distribution depot and a home to the local civilian council. I mean, this is completely unverified, but you can see the story from yesterday, the Reuters story, which was published on their website, that U.S.-led raids hit grain silos in Syria, killing workers, according to the Monitor. And it's easy to understand where that tweet originated from. today we've been asking the general public what their opinion is of the Russian airstrikes in Syria. Hope you enjoy. What's your opinion on the Russian airstrikes in Syria? Okay, so um, there seems to be some sort of a stalemate um, and uh, so the Russian side seems to be um, thinking that the only way that we can fight ISIS is to support Assad uh, because the rebels are to a lot of an extent aligned with the um, with ISIS, so they're thinking supporting the government, which they've always supported for years, is uh, is a better way of um, of <coughs> fighting the threat of ISIS. Uh, first off, obviously the the West, so the United States and the UK, are of course against that because they've already been giving a lot of money to the rebels and kind of uh, uh, so so basically you know from a from a civilian point of view i don't know if we're winning or not in the sense of uh, possibly it is for the first it seems to be Russia is it seems not as if it's if there are ally but it seems to be a valid kind of first response I would say so yeah I I think I'm actually for it at the moment but you know, I've got you know I've, I can see both sides so so that's basically my opinion and my thought about it so cheers cool. <laughs> What's your opinion on the Russian airstrikes in Syria? Um, I don't know too much about it to be honest, so I can't really comment unfortunately. Okay. What's your opinion on the Russian airstrikes in Syria? To be fair, I don't know anything about it and don't have a clue about it. What's your opinion on the Russian airstrikes in Syria? Oh well, I think it's a complicated situation. Um, but uh, overall, I would say that if we want to solve the problem, the problem must be solved. Uh, and aiming at the root and the root is there the root of the problem is there and um, myself i would send the army i would send i mean the an alliance of western armies i know uk and the states are doing that already i know russia is doing it unilaterally but what in do the you South mean by that what do you mean what do you mean by russia that russia doing it can you explain a bit more about that Ru Russia is sending the, the army against the radicals, against those crazy people of the of the ISIS. But it's doing unilaterally. It's uh, looking for coordination only with the Syrian government, as far as I know. Could be wrong, but, uh, but that's my vision. That's that's my view, and I think that all civilized world, all democracies, and all countries with a state of uh, law should coordinate to implement a plan to send to a military plan. And once they have de they have been defeated, I will install that um, a democracy or regime at least based on human rights. That's what I would do. Okay. Okay. What's your opinion on the Russian airstrikes in Syria? I don't really know much no. about it. Really, I've seen a little um, bit on the website. I mean, the whole the whole thing with Syria is very distressing. Um, uh, and you know, people getting involved, aren't they? But I, I don't really know too much about it. So when you first, if you if you've heard at all that Russia are obviously getting involved, they've gone in and they've you know performed airstrikes. Would you think that's a good thing? No, no. Why not? Um, well, personally, because of my religious beliefs, I don't I don't believe in in, in war or fighting or anything no. like that. It's just a situation that's just out of control, isn't it? Um, I, I don't really like to say either way. Yeah. It's just distressing. 
Okay, so what if I was to tell you that Russia have gone in and they've eliminated quite a lot of the terrorists, a lot of ISIS, so in, in a way that's been obviously very, very helpful to Syria. So does that change your opinion about it? Do you think that it's better for the Syrian people? In a way, I, I can understand that. But obviously, if our belief was sort of... Um, taking into consideration beforehand where obviously war wasn't in place then there wouldn't have been any ISIS in the first place it's kind of going before that you know if it wasn't all yeah because we understand obviously now something has to be done in that situation but with we sort of take a very neutral stance yeah very yeah neutral stance on, on war and we don't like to sort of give our opinion that we don't agree with it yeah yeah but it is very, it is very distressing and very sad. Yeah. What's your opinion on the Russian airstrikes in Syria? Well, I guess it's quite not like nice place and stuff. So I don't know. It's quite, yeah, it's nice. So you think it's a good thing? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. What do you think of the Russian airstrikes in Syria? Um, I don't really follow the news, so I haven't really heard a lot about it. But um, on Sunday, it's not too good. How do you feel about the Russian airstrikes in Syria? Uh, I don't know, to be honest, what is going on right now. I think it is some kind of disinformation and general misunderstanding because uh, some channels say Russia is good, some channels say Russia is bad, so we will never know. As a Russian person, how do you, do you think? Do you think they're good going in and helping Syria? Helping is always good, isn't it? I don't know what to say. What else to say? So probably we'll find out the truth in 10 years or 15 years, like this, but not right now. It is the same, I feel it is the same situation as it was with America in 2008, with Georgia, okay. conflict in Georgia. It is absolutely the same thing. General misunderstanding, disinformation, this kind of thing. I'll put it in a short answer, to be honest. Um, yeah, let me think about it. Do you want to put that actually? Sorry. You don't have a point of view. Yeah, I prefer just not talk about it. Oh, right. okay, sure. We hope you got a good idea of where the general public are at in terms of what Russia are doing to help Syria. What you won't see, again, is that a lot of people did not agree to be filmed. Many of them were just clueless about what was going on and weren't happy to even say that on film. We got one or two people who were quite accurate with their knowledge about what Russia are up to, and obviously some people that just don't have a clue what's going on whatsoever. strikes on ICT in Syria as mainstream media all the time broadcast fake and false events about this. We are here to know the real opinion of the real residents in Syria. Let's go. أنا أنا ما ضربات الروسية لداعش في سوريا لأن ضربات شرعية لأن الحكومة هي اللي طلبت من روسيا أن تساعدها ضد داعش وهذا الشيء بيفيدنا وبيرجع الأمان لسوريا فأنا أكيد مع الضربات الروسية شكرا لحضرتك Hello Hello What do you think about Russia's attack on ISIS? as they call it, uh, on the terrorist groups here in Syria. Do you support it? Do you see it's legal and why? Okay, well, if you gonna ask anybody about his opinion uh, about the Russian airstrikes against ISIS in Syria, of course, all of us gonna say, yes, we support it. I mean, after five years of war, who doesn't want a solution? We need a solution to get out of this disaster. Uh, I mean, uh, we want uh, we want peace. Um, of course, this can happen in cooperation with the Syrian Arab Army, with our amazing soldiers who are in the ground. They, you know. Great. Anybody with good sense has to support this kind of action because, in effect, we don't have anything called the moderate opposition. The so-called moderate opposition is an invention. It's a false uh, claim to uh, justify, you know. Uh, uh, policies that are already, uh, uh, you know, planned against our country. Great, thank you, thank you for your time. Much appreciated. The truth is that we are very familiar with this situation in Syria. There is a lot of pain in this situation that has happened in Syria. 
يعني ناطرين حل هالأزمة اللي صارت بقى أكيد نحن مع الحل الروسي ويعني التدخل أكثر ما لازم يكون لحتى ننتهي من هالوضع يعني أنا ما أعلم لضرب الإرهاب لأنه هنا يعني عم يعملوا كتير خير خير إنه عم يعملوا كتير خير بعض إنه عنا بسوريا فلازم هذا الشيء. فإذا نحن ما عرفنا. الضربات عم تقوم بالقضاء وتحت الارهاب والنصف على مستوى العالم يعني روسيا عم تدافع عن عن نفسها بدأت عن عن وجود البشريه بشكل عام ما تحارب الارهاب بكل اشكاله في جميع انحاء العالم هلا هل هل كل حدا يحتاج مساعده لما بيوقع بمر عليه ازمه دافعنا وحاولنا كثير وساعدونا كثير هلا كثير شكرا Oh. Uh -huh.